Guys, lightning and thunder everywhere already this morning. Uh, I'm going to attempt to continue prepping this garden plot today. Well, I'm going to do what I can. Um, I gave a brief glimpse at the garden the other day, but I didn't really go into detail. I um, think the tomatoes are very happy. They're starting to flower, although the leaves are curled. I don't know the cause of curling leaves, but they've done that since the first day. So I don't know. They're growing, though. And I'm going to have to start building frames to support them. Now the rain has started. It's starting to rain on me now. The potatoes are ready to have dirt heaped up. The peppers on this end are getting dark again. I think it was the cold temperature. Well, actually, all of them are starting to darken up. We had cold 40 degree nights. And um, I think they didn't like that. I think they were going dormant and dying. Now we've had 80 and 90 degree days with 60, 70 degree nights, and they're coming out of it. Um, what is that? There's something going on around here. I hear dogs. Um, I didn't sleep at all last night. There were coyotes out here, and then dogs barking all night. I didn't have any minute of peace. Just bark, 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 bark. You get the idea. Um, and they're still going. So I'm going to have to go over to the neighbor's place. You can't see the neighbors and you can't see anything. That place is empty. Always has been. You can't see anything, but you can hear them. There's two big hounds. And just bark, 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 bark. So something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Anyway. Um, oh, what is this? Over in the compost bin, it looks like there's something growing on its own out of the compost pile. Oh, look at that. What kind of a surprise gift do we have here? Hey, look at that. Huh, growing right in the compost. That's a nice free gift. <laughs> cool. I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay. Lightning's over my head. I got to go in. Anyway, I was going to give you a brief update. Um, we don't even—we lost track. There were one, two, three, four survivors from the chipmunks, and uh, they're growing here in the edge of the garden from the uh, first plants we put in. Uh, peas are doing good, and mum beans are good. And I got to get in out of the weather before I get struck by lightning. Talk to you all later. It's really raining. So I got to hold my camera steady. I know this camera is terrible, no image stabilization on the GoPro, which is odd because the GoPro is an action camera, should have image stabilization. Anyway, I'm standing in the rain, but I'm sopping wet. I was over and uh, found out that the dogs hadn't had food in two days. They've been barking for two days. They're way, way out behind the trees and at a place far by, out by the road, but they are allowed. Uh, four hunting dogs. And um, I don't know what happened to the owners, but I checked with my other neighbors, and they're going to go to town and find out about it, check with the police, and see if there was an accident or something. Because these guys, they come up, they have a cabin up there, and they come up just for, uh, uh, they bring their dogs up when they're camping, and there's been nobody there for two days. So while it's raining, I'm in the wood shop. It's still a mess. I'm still sorting since we moved from Pine Bush. I've got boxes everywhere. I've got stuff cluttered up everywhere. And I'm hoping today to just see it through and clean this place up. Um, I need to get some pegboard on the walls and that's going to help a lot with sorting this place out. But for now, I'm sorting uh, nuts and bolts. And uh, I've got a neighbor brought a box over. That's, that was all from this box. And I go through nuts and bolts in this property like you wouldn't believe. Then I've got some hardware, um, door latches and stuff here. Miscellaneous hardware that I'm sorting out so that I can get these boxes out of here. I've already emptied a few boxes of, of mixed junk. 
and I've got some garage sale items that came um, my neighbors gave me all that and if we're gonna have a garage sale so I threw that in here and uh, you know why not I've got all my plumbing in here because there's bits and pieces of plumbing throughout all the different boxes I've been sorting so I just set up a box of plumbing I've got a box with garage stuff and uh, a box with electrical for my my electronic shop uh, it's a lot it's a lot of boxes I've got to sort out moving is a serious job but anyway so I've got my nuts and bolts on a shelf that I got from a neighbor. Tapes and sealants, my old Black & Decker tools, Ryobi tools. I'll probably give Melanie the Black & Decker tools. Um, she doesn't use them as heavily as I and their batteries aren't as good, so that's fine. Uh, she was doing some drilling the other day and it'd be good to let her just have her own stuff. Containers that are going out. My wood, All my wood products from the recycled pallet wood products website which I need to get back into and start making some money out here that's the whole purpose of this shop so I'm gonna keep on going while it's raining hard it's gonna rain all day so I'm just gonna to try to organize everything here today and knock it out once and for all because I've just been running around doing so much um, this I haven't really dedicated much time to this place and this is gonna be a money maker well, I've got it somewhat sorted. Um, I still have an issue with storing wood. I have to keep pallets in here for now to dry for wood that I'm going to use. Uh, I put the workbench that was here over in that wall. Fits really nice there. Actually, I was just about to start working on some wood. Put the bandsaw here and I can walk right up to it now and work on it right here. Most times I won't be using anything huge on this anyway, so that's perfect here. And if I have to, I can move it around. Um, I still got some garage sale items that have to go in the chalet, but it's been raining hard, so I don't really want to take that out. And although it doesn't look like it, I've got most of the screws, nuts, and bolts sorted. Um, I just got a few items that I've got to sort yet. I've got my table saw turned around, set up, and I'm about to use it in a few minutes here. And then I've got my um, lathe table stood up behind it. That's a portable, collapsible lathe table. And uh, a couple things that still have to get out of here. But um, I'm getting it way farther than I was before. Right now I want to work on some pallet wood pieces. And trim these up and run them through the planer. And uh, pop them over in the laser and uh, do some wood burning. Make some coffee coasters for sale. Cleaning up some wood to use on the laser burner. Now, after running it through the planer and making it flat, I'll take it and sand it to smooth it out, and then I'll take it inside for the laser burner. Uh, well, actually, next then I'll cut it into coffee coaster blocks and take it into the laser burner and uh, burn some coasters. Um, this is off the grid and it's running under load. People were not sure if this would work under load and we are off the grid. This is the off grid wood shop running the planer under load and uh, the inverter and the battery bank fully off the grid. Not a problem at all. And I'm creating my own, uh, everything gets recycled on this property. I'm creating my own chicken bedding right there. Beautiful shavings right there for chicken bedding. So, good stuff. When I'm done today, just with a couple pieces of wood, I'll have enough 
for one change of bedding for the baby birds when we get the new batch. Anyway, I'm going to do the second piece of wood and find some more scraps around here and plane them down and then uh, process some coffee coasters. Well guys, it feels pretty good to be working in my shop. Fully off the grid, wood shop. Need a little bit of oil in there. Just a little bit of oil in that slider. sun so now what I gotta do next is set up the fence and rip my boards I'm gonna make coffee coasters so it's very simple I'm gonna take the board and use it as its own guide because I want to cut it Square. So I'm literally going to set the board up against the uh, blade here, slide the fence up tight, right? tighten it. I mean, there's no measurements involved here. We're just real simple. Got that there, tighten it down, and then cut my uh, coffee coasters out of that. So. Should go smooth and easy here.
pillars to start, then they're all square. Now, the only problem I've got is this blade is old. And uh, it's a nine inch blade. I don't have any nine inch blades here, so I'm gonna have to get something going on later on. But, you know, it's doing the job. If that's the same size, I can keep on cutting. Yeah, roughly. Anyway, I'm gonna chop these all up, make myself some coffee coasters. Well guys, all plain and cut. I've got quite a few coasters here. Let's go check the battery voltage and see what we got left. We are at 12.7 volts, but still in float mode. So, um, doesn't look like we're too desperate for power right now. And now I'm gonna sand those pieces down and smooth them out. Got the computer hooked up, got the laser going, I'm burning the off-grid project coffee coasters. And this is uh, actually solar powered because I've got the solar panels plugged into an extension cord here. And so the laptop and the laser burner are plugged in to the same power going out to the solar panels. So these projects have been fully 100% made off the grid. So the off-grid project coffee co coasters from start to finish are being made off the grid. That is so very cool. Including the laser etcher. Um, I'm suffering from smoke inhalation here though. <coughs> A little bit of coughing. I have to hold the cord because I'm still adjusting and setting this up and occasionally the cord hangs here so I've got to figure out how to route that properly but there is the off-grid project coffee coaster laser burnt completely off-grid made from start to finish recycled pallet wood coffee coasters and I'm gonna actually put together some of these for sale so go ahead and let me know if you're interested and I'll make them up accordingly. Um, they'll be two and a half dollars a piece. So let me know, guys, and uh, send me a message in the comments, and and uh, we'll go from there. It's raining out heavily, so I figure I might as well do something with my time today. Well, guys, that is today. It is Wednesday, so we got church tonight. So another day comes to a close. Uh, it's been raining heavily all day, so uh, it was woodworking day today. Cleaned the entire wood shop, got the wood shop put together, got some woodworking going. I feel good. I got, I mean, it, I really totally rearranged the wood shop, and then all these blanks, um, I made this and a lot more. I, I got a whole stack of them in the the wood shop. Um, I've got three done that are good. I have a few, it takes a while adjusting the laser and figuring out what you're doing. I've got four that I'm going to re-sand and re-burn. Um, little glitches here and there. That this one, there was nothing wrong with it. This was my first. It was just a unsanded blank uh, for an experiment. 
and it turned out fine it's just that I didn't have it sanded so I'll redo that here what was wrong with it I don't think oh okay the smooth side I goofed up on the smooth side um, I was adjusting my center point and then I experimented on the back side nothing wrong with that but it wasn't smooth anyway you get the idea I've got three good coffee coasters ready for sale I'll finish up some more tomorrow but uh, I think it's pretty cool and I've got some ideas people can get personalized coffee coasters so if they want their name on on something or a special image um, let me know guys let me know what your ideas are but this day has come to a close so we'll say good night Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project literally off-grid working all day today good night <laughs>